Today is Wednesday, March the 31st. I am your host, Casey Phoenix, and this is my daily thought. And a happy birthday to my god sister in Brooklyn, New York, as well. I don't know if she listens to my podcast that often or not, which she may not be because I know that she's been a little bit upset with me lately, but she'll get over it. I digress. If you do hear this, I'm wishing you a happy birthday. I called you earlier and I left the message. So, yeah. Now, before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Bullhorn, Overcast, and many other podcasting platforms all over the world. Listen to whatever platform works best for you. On social media, K-I-R-W-K-C. And I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like. (laughs) Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share because sharing is caring. All right. Let me go ahead and hop into this daily thought. This is going to be kind of semi-quick. And I'm recording this super early, earlier than I usually do. The reason I am is because today is the big day, Godzilla versus Kong. And I want to be able to watch it on my TV and, you know, just no disturbance, you know, no disturbances, no extra work to do. So I'm getting all of my stuff out of the way now, including this podcast. Still love you, but I'm recording this early. (laughs) So, yeah, and I'll more than likely do a movie recommendation because I have a feeling I will enjoy it. Because I love Godzilla. And for those who may not know, yes, I'm rooting for Godzilla. I'm not rooting for Kong. Kong is cool, but Godzilla is about that life. Okay. Now, um, know it all. I have been called that quite a few times. And this isn't just about me. This is for some other people who might be called know it all. This is just this is sort of from our point of view, because I'm not the only one. All right. I look at it like this. When people do stuff in life, if it works out, if if there's a formula that's working. And you use that formula and it works again and again, it's it's reinforcement to like, okay, the formula is working. Do you understand where I'm going? It's almost like with a basketball player. If they do their training, if they are constantly at the top of their team and they know certain things work for them where, okay, they wake up at five in the morning, they practice from Six until 10. I'm just throwing something out there. Monday through Friday, they take a rest on Saturday. They prepare, you know, they play things through their head on Sunday, you know, try to map things out, work out their strategies, so on and so forth. If that formula is working in that basketball player or football player, whatever, is in the in the top bracket of their team constantly. They're always scoring the most points. They're always handling the most assists. They're always handling the most rebounds, um, touchdowns, whatever. Then all of that is reinforcement to their habits, to their character, where it's like, okay, I'm doing this. It's working. I guess I need to keep doing it. That's kind of how I look at the know-it-all thing. I tell people I didn't become a know-it-all overnight. I didn't wake up one day and be like, oh, well, I know that and I know this and I know that and I know this. No, I've lived the life that I've lived and not that my life is more important than anyone else's life. All of us are unique in our own way. I'm saying I've lived the life that I've lived and some of the things that I've done in my life have required me to do a ridiculous amount of research, which is why I know random things sometimes when people bring up stuff. 
And part of the things that I have discussed, part of the things where I have offered feedback or an opinion or in other cases, a fact of something about a situation, I've been right. And part of it has been based off of life experiences where I've I've already been down that road before. So I I know more than likely this is how it's going to go. And, and I have that knowledge from previous experiences. That's why I always say no experience is wasted. And I've mentioned that before. I don't know if I've done a daily thought on it, but I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it quite a few times. Maybe I should do a daily thought on it specifically. But I digress. The other thing that comes into play is for those who follow my podcast, you know that I'm intuitive where I just know things sometimes. I can't help it. I just do. When uh, some of you know that when my mother called me and she told me that my nephew had decided to start playing an instrument and she asked me, she's like, what instrument do you think he picked? And I paused for a second and a voice said to me, the violin. A voice said to me, the violin. And then I said to my mother, the violin. And then she paused and she's like, how did you know that? I was like, I just did. There have been other situations where people have said things and I just, I get a feeling about something And usually my feeling, you can call it discernment, intuition, or whatever, more times than not has been right over my lifetime. When I have warned people about things that are to come, and then they don't listen, and then things happen exactly as I say, and then they're looking like who did it and why. It's like, okay. I I can't, you know, you as they say, you can lead a horse to water. You know, I can give you the knowledge. I can give you what I believe is correct, but I I can't make you believe it. I can't make you side with my beliefs. I can only present the information to you and then you can do with it what you want to do with it. That's how I approach a lot of things when I tell people stuff. I I give my opinion, or in some cases, I give a fact, which they might think is an opinion at, at the time, but I know is a fact. And then they can do with it whatever they want to do with it. But when you go through life and you tell people stuff, whether it's and give people information, whether it's information based off of life experience or information based off of being naturally intuitive. Because everyone has intuition to a certain degree, every single person on the planet. The reason that you have intuition to a certain degree is because everything comes from the source. You can call it God, Goddess, Allah, Yahweh, Jehovah, whatever. It all comes from the source. And if you are connected to the source, you are a product of the source. Every person on this planet, regardless of what their religion is, they they can even be an atheist. It doesn't matter. They come from the source whether they want to accept it or not. And because you come from the source, you are naturally embodied with a certain type of energy and intuition. And again, some people's intuition is stronger than others, but every single person on the planet has some form of intuition, some form of discernment where it's like they something picks up. Their spidey sense starts to go off. It's just a point of tapping into it. But for people like me, the know-it-alls, where We've given information and 
we end up being right usually more times than right. I probably say I'm right at least 80 to 85 percent of the time, which some people are like, well, that's not that high. When you think about it, yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm usually right to 80 to 85 percent of the time. Do I get everything right? No, I don't. No one gets everything right. But when you get all of that positive reinforcement, <laughs> 80 to 85 percent of the time, I call it positive reinforcement. Where it's like, OK, yeah, right about that. Mm -hmm. I was right about that. Yeah, I was right about that. Mm -hmm. All right. I was right about that. I was right about that. And over the years, it just accumulates and it keeps on accumulating. <laughs> then you're you're in the area of know it all because your your knowledge base is good. Your intuition or discernment is good. So sometimes it can come across very. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, I could say rude lacking tact in some situations, having a huge ego, which I do have a huge ego. I I, I think everyone should have a huge ego because um, it's all about self-esteem. If you don't love yourself, how can you love someone else and how can someone else love you? Just saying, but I digress. It, it can throw people off sometimes. And also, know-it-alls can be stubborn which I can be stubborn at times, but also that's more of me being a cancer too because cancers, they say earth signs are stubborn. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, cancers can be hella stubborn. We can be hella stubborn. When, we, when we're stuck on something, we're stuck on it. But at the same time, for the know-it-alls, what... What do you say when they're right? What do you say? Th that's the question. For the know-it-alls, what do you say when they're right? When they tell you something and it happens like they told you, or if you ask them something and they give you, you know, information and the information is exactly as they said it would be, whether you went to Google or spoke to someone else who was an expert in the field or whatever. But you're like, oh, I already got the information from such and such. Yeah, that's exactly what they told me. So I, I know that some people can be like, oh my God, a know-it-all can be so annoying. And yeah, I can be annoying sometimes. I'll wear that. I'm fine with that. It's, it's not going to hurt my ego. And there's this other thing about accountability. I can take accountability for that. That, hey, I come across a little annoying because I I put my, you know, I say things so matter-of-factly. But it's, be, you know, it's because of experience in life, because I've been right so many times. It's been that reinforcement over the years. And I'm not saying that you should be, I'm not saying that you should throw rose petals at a know-it-all's feet. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that there should be, there's a card in the tarot deck. It's called temperance. Temperance is about balance and moderation. And yes, a know-it-all can work. They can do their best to be balanced, to not come off so, oh, I know more than you. Because, and also, sometimes they may not mean to come off that way, but some people, because they're insecure, they take it that way where the person who just knows the information is just being direct about what they know. So I need to throw that out there. But there are some know-it-alls out there who do come off as, oh, well, I know better than you. I know more than you. 
given. But also with dealing with them, you need to take into consideration where if you've seen they have a track record of being right more times than not, maybe, just maybe, you you should put a little respect on their name. <laughs> you know, just be like, you know what? They, they work my nerves from time to time, but when I need information or when I need to know about something or if I need advice on something, they're, they're usually on point. Let me, let me go to this person and do that. And also let me show some respect to that person too. So yeah, it's, it's all about balance. I'm not saying you got to kiss up to someone. I don't expect anybody to kiss up to anybody. I don't care who they are. I don't care what your title is. I don't care what if it's blood relation. I, I do not care who you are. I do not believe in treating anyone different just because of what they are. Now, people are going to be like, well, of course you're going to treat your mother different or of course you're going to treat your father different than a stranger on the, on the street. Let me put it like this. I will treat everyone equally until they give me a reason not to. And things can get put into categories. I will treat all strangers equally. I will treat all co-workers equally, regardless of their title. I don't care if you're the president of the company. I don't care if you are a janitor at the company. It doesn't matter. You're both going to you will both be treated the same. I'm not kissing up to either one of you. Because. You're all human beings. You're all at the same company. Same thing with strangers. I'm not kissing up to anybody. I don't care if you're a stranger getting out of a, a brand new Bugatti or if you're a stranger getting out of a 1977 Toyota Corolla. I'm going to treat you both the same. Because that's what I do. So I'm not saying kiss up to anyone. What I am saying is just recognize the fact and sometimes instead of being so quick to point and in, in focus on the negative, the glass half full, those characteristics of a know-it-all. Consider focusing on the positive characteristics too, because the way some people make it seem is almost as if there are no positive characteristics when it comes to a know-it-all. As if there's nothing positive about a know-it-all. I've seen it. I've, I've watched it and not necessarily me personally, because I don't care, but I'm, I'm talking about with other people who I've seen that just happen to know a lot, who just happen to be able to figure things out. And for the know-it-alls out there, one thing that you may want to consider is not, and I had to learn to do this too, as the years went on, not to offer unsolicited advice. Only offer the information that is requested of you. If, now, I'm going to add a caveat to that. If you have a premonition and something's on your spirit, because I've done that with some people. Some things have been on my spirit where, with people I know personally, where I'm like, do I really want to tell them this? about this premonition or do I just want to keep it to myself or whatever? If it's something like that, everything's on a case by case basis, then you follow, follow your heart on that. Speak to, speak to God, speak to the divine and figure out what's what. But when it comes to, if you're overhearing something or, you know, somebody else is doing something or this or that, and you just want to jump in and offer advice just because you know the answer or or the solution to whatever they're talking about, don't be so quick to do that. Because it can be a bad look. Because they're going to be like, oh, here comes this know-it-all button in again. Okay, what do you have to say? No. If people really want the information, they're going to come to you. And that's another thing with reinforcement. You will notice, speaking on behalf of the know-it-alls, for us... When people realize that we know things, whether it is through 
life knowledge or intuitively, they automatically gravitate to us and ask us for the information. And when we give the information and the information turns out to be right, the advice or whatever, and it all works out for them, that's more positive reinforcement for us know-it-alls because we're like, oh, well, we were right about that. Okay. So, you know, we did, I, I'm titling this, I didn't become a know-it-all over, overnight, but I'm going to say know-it-alls didn't become know-it-alls overnight it is what I'm saying. And that is my daily thought. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Again, as you know, it's carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Bullhorn, Overcast. This goes on and on. KIRWKC on social media platforms. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Also, don't forget to comment, too, because comments are cool. I appreciate that. And until next time. Be blessed.